Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about three phase AC circuits. So, before getting into the concepts of three phase AC circuits, let us know the advantage of three phase system over single phase and what is the necessity of three phase system. So, first, the necessity we will discuss about the necessity of a three phase system. So, if you want to talk about the necessity of three phase, there are certain loads which require only three phase. So, loads, okay, requires only three phase. So, most of the industries, okay, what the machines we used in the industries. So, they run on three phase. So, on a polyphase supply. So, polyphase refers here. Polyphase refers here more than two phase. That is greater than two phase. Uh, greater than or equal to two phase or greater than two phase. We refer that as a polyphase system. So, the ne second necessity is uh, in practice, okay, three phase system is found to be more economical. So, rather than single phase, three phase is more economical. So, uh, it has certain advantages over other poly polyphase system. So, if you take, uh, um, you know, four phase, okay, four phase uh, means it is three wire and one neutral, okay, refers to four. So, in that case, it has more advantages you know, when we talk about three-phase over other polyphase system. Hence, three-phase system is very much necessary and it, and it is required, many loads are operating using three-phase supply. So, now coming to the advantages of three-phase system. If you want to come to the advantages of three phase system, there are many advantages out of which I will be listing only the few advantages here. First advantages is the output of three phase machine is always greater than single phase. So, if you say output is of three phase, output of three phase is greater than single phase, okay. Uh, if you want to talk in terms of greater than single phase means how much? So, in, if you say how much means the output is 1.5 times greater than single phase. For the same rating of the machine, okay, for the same rating of a machine, okay, same size or same rating, approximately it is 1.5 times greater than single phase. The second advantage is for a given size of a machine on a voltage, okay, for a given size and voltage, a three-phase alternator or three-phase AC generator occupies less space, okay, less space, okay, and less cost, okay, less cost, advantages over single phase, you can say. So, less space and less cost comparatively to single phase. And the third advantage is the voltage regulation is better than voltage regulation is better okay is better is better so comparatively with that of single phase so these are the um, you know advant advantages of uh, three phase over single phase the next advantages is the fourth one The fourth advantage is it is possible to produce rotating magnetic field with stationary coils by three phase system. So, with rotating magnetic field, so it is possible to produce rotating magnetic field with the stationary coils by using three phase system without. Uh, moving the uh, coils, rotating the conductors, we can have a 
magnetic field okay using three phase system next the fifth point is single phase can be obtained from three phase single phase can be obtained from three phase okay from three phase but vice versa it is not possible vice versa not possible not possible that means three phase cannot be obtained from single phase so single phase you can obtain from three phase but three phase you cannot obtain from a single phase so the next advantage i can say the sixth advantage power factor of single phase okay power factor of single phase is poor okay than three phase that means three phase power factor is better than single phase and which is very important in uh, power system network that we should have a very good power factor which we have discussed in single phase so when we have so many advantages over single phase so we prefer always the you know three phase system you know than the single phase now coming to the generation coming to the generation now generation of three phase voltages if you observe this is the now if you observe the generation of three phase voltages here let us assume this is a three phase system so the conductor now this is a conductor when you rotate a conductor so we have here um three conductors okay in the three phase system we have let us assume uh, three conductors we have that is one r y and b okay instead of uh, you know uh, differentiating with uh, actual colors we differentiate this in, in three colors that is one one each face represents three colors here so in the three phase system if you observe here there are three equal voltages of the same frequency but displaced from one another by 120 degree so this i would be explaining by drawing the phase so when you observe this conductors are rotating okay and it cuts the magnetic field so we have the voltage produced here so voltage produced so observe this voltage is you know produced at a particular point the other voltage is having after a certain phase shift the other voltage is starting and after certain phase shift the third voltage is starting so but they have equal in magnitude okay they have equal in magnitude so let me write this with the so there are three voltages let us say one of the voltage reference let us say this as er okay so this is nothing but er reference and one of the voltage is now ey and this voltage as ep so ryb if you take anti clockwise rotation the displacement of this will be 120 degree okay so there is a phase shift of 120 degree so if you take er as a reference so ey if you take in anti clockwise ey is lagging okay ey is lagging er by 120 degree and eb is lagging er by 240 degree so when you want to write a reference suppose er is written as magnitude em at an angle 0 okay so this is how we write or this can be written as this can be written as 
instead of like we have normally seen in the single phase like we have uh, v is equal to vm sin omega t in the same notation if you write instead of the voltage in one of the phase is er er is equal to em sin omega t if you take er as a reference because omega t is the normal with respect to this so now ey is lagging er by 120 degrees so ey can be written as ey is equal to em sin omega t minus 120 with reference to er okay so next we have ez next we have ez So, Ez can be written as can be written as Em sine of omega t minus 240 that is with reference to Er. So, let the three coils be rotating in the anti-clockwise considering that okay we write the voltage equation as this way the equation for the induced voltages in a three phase system now how this emf are induced so we know when a conductor is rotated in a, a magnetic field it cuts the flux and emf is induced so let us take three conductors for example so let us take three conductors let us assume let us assume there is a pole okay let us assume there is a pole and let us say this is north pole and south pole and we have a field here so let me indicate with different color the field in yellow so the field is always from north to south pole we know that so let me not you know in indicate the direction so let me write the conductor now conductor one of the conductor so let me write it in the same color r y b so let us say r is here so next is y so i'll use little darker color so phase shift is around 120 degree y and b okay so if you observe this let me indicate the one so let me indicate this as r1 r2 and this one as y2 y1 and this one as z1 and z so if you observe this this conductor so the emf induced in okay so let me use the same colors now to denote this okay this refers suppose taking reference e r1 r2 okay that is induced in the conductor e r1 r2 the other emf induced okay in case of other one of same magnitude so let me say this one as e y1 y2 and the third conductor induces emf let me take b so b at 240 degree so it starts from okay so it goes like this so this one is e p1 sorry e 
this let me call this as v1 v2 okay so this becomes e b1 b2 so we have three phases r y p so the three conductors rotated in a magnetic field so when it cuts the magnetic field okay when you rotate these conductors when it cuts the magnetic field the emf induced it called e r r1 r1 r2 in case of uh, the one of the face of the conductors let me say red and e y1 y2 is the emf induced in another conductor say y1 y2 and e b1 b2 is the emf induced in another conductor that is b1 b2 so these are the three emf induced if you observe they are in equal in magnitude as i refer as a as i said in the previous case if i refer e r capital r so r refers here the red face that is r1 r2 conductor you know the ends of the conductors is mentioned as r1 r2 so er can be written as em sin omega t correct because it's a sinusoidal wave the other one e y okay induced in the conductor y1 y2 so let me say this as e y e y is equal to e m sin of omega t minus 120 because it is in the anti clockwise so if you refer this it is having a phase shift of 120 degree here okay the other blue has a shape, phase shift of 240 degree it is only starting after 240 degree so that is we call it as e b is equal to e m sin of omega t minus 240 so these are the three voltage equation emf induced in a three phase system so this is how the emf is generated when you rotate a conductor in a magnetic field okay so now we we shall move on to the next topic that is star connected system So let us move on to the star connected system in the next uh, video. Thank you for watching this.